Rais wa Jamhuri yetu ya Kenya na Amiri Jeshi Mkuu Mama Margaret Kenyatta Mama wetu wa Taifa Familia ya Rais wetu wa tatu Judy na familia yako Jimmy na familia yako David na familia yako Anthony na familia yako pamoja na extended family ya mzee wetu baba wa taifa wa tatu mzee Mwai Kibaki your graces and your lordships are bishops ndugu viongozi wote wenzangu walio hapa arata amwai wake vake Moriega Moriega Renge Mwadhani Agosho Ngai no Mwega Na ende shode Mwishimi wa Rais Tumekuja hapa wewe ukituongoza kama kiongozi wetu wa taifa tuje tufariji familia ya rais wetu wa tatu Mheshimiwa Mwai Kibaki alikuwa baba wa taifa na alikuwa baba ya watu wengi mbali na familia yake And in a very special way I want to thank the Mwai Kibaki family for agreeing to share your father with the rest of us who came to know him we are truly grateful Mwai Kibaki was a father to you but he also became a father to many other Kenyans We have come here to mourn his demise but to also celebrate him as a father of the nation of Kenya To the people of Thongori and Odaya thank you very much for bringing up a great Kenyan who today we are celebrating Tunawashukuru sana Mzee baba wetu Mwai Kibaki kutoka hapa Dongori hapa Odaya katika kijiji ambacho ni kama ile ya Bethlehemu ya Yesu ambaye haikuwa inajulikana sana lakini he accomplished many things from here he became a great scholar he became a great economist he became a great leader and of course a great president and a father of the nation if there is a demonstration of bottom up we can learn from Mwai Kibaki we must inspired by president Mwai Kibaki we must keep the doors of opportunity for many more children in this village and in other villages of Kenya inspired by Mwai Kibaki that they too can be great in their nation if they work hard 
and if they pray. Mudaura has said, and I agree with him, that Mwai Kibaki is the father of modern day Kenya. It is true. Mwai Kibaki planted the seeds of what has become the greatest transformation of our infrastructure under him and under our fourth president, President Uhuru Kenyatta. He laid the foundation, the man who lays here today. And even as he thought about big infrastructure projects, Mwai Kibaki did not forget the ordinary people. He did not forget. And that is why, under Mwai Kibaki, he made sure that motorbikes were zero rated. And that is when Border Border came into being. And today, it is a sector that hires close to 1.4 million Kenyans. He was great, but he was also simple. And so, as we celebrate his life, as we celebrate Mwai Kibaki, we must remember that in him we had an embodiment of the unity of our nation. At a very personal level, allow me, Bishop, to say, when my boss, President Kenyatta, and I were in trouble with the ICC cases, Mwai Kibaki stood as a father to us. At a very personal level again, when I became his minister for agriculture, and me and my peers, Romano Kiyome, went to see him about the challenges we were having in fertilizer, which had gone up to about 5,000 shillings a 50 kilogram bag. His wisdom and understanding gave us the opportunity under his guidance to reduce the prices of fertilizer to 2,500 and the first subsidized fertilizer in Kenya was brought about by the third president, President Mwai Kibaki. At a very personal level again, when I was promoted to the Ministry of Higher Education. And we had a backlog of university students. Under his guidance again, we managed to have another double intake that henceforth removed the backlog that students had to wait for at least two years to be able to go to university after they complete their Form 4. And finally, as um, Mudawara has said, under President Kibaki's guidance, my peers at the Ministry of Higher Education, Professor Kiamba and I, under his guidance, we started to roll out the Tibet program that President Uhuru Kenyatta has built upon, and that is why we have close to 200 Tibet institutes across the country. So, at a very personal level, I can attest, and I am a witness, and I, and I can bear testimony that Mwai Kibaki is the father of modern-day Kenya.
and therefore it is befitting that we celebrate his life and we learn lessons from him. And I think a befitting send-off to all of us as we celebrate the third president of Kenya is for us to go into this election and make sure that election will be peaceful and that it won't be necessary for us to have a handshake, that the election will be peaceful. I think we owe it to President Mwai Kibaki as we send him off. From my wife Rachel and children, to Mzee Mwai Kibaki and his family, fare thee well, may his soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Allow me, allow me one, one, uh, one, one, one minute, uh, Bishop. In our midst, we have many leaders. Let me ask all the MCAs to stand up. Asante Sana, thank you very much. A clap for the MCAs. Let me ask, let me request all members of parliament to stand up. Wale wote waliokuja. Asante sana waheshimiwa kwa kuja ili tuweze kusindikiza mzee wetu. Let me request all the senators to stand up so that we can recognize you. Thank you very much. Those are our senators who came to bid farewell. Let me request all the governors and deputy governors to stand up so that we can recognize you. Tuwapigie makofi. Asante sana. In our midst also, we have our former Vice President, um, Musalia Mudavadi. And we have our former Vice President, Kalonso Musioka, in our midst. Thank you very much, my brother. And I don't know whether we have Mze Mudi Awori, who was also a Vice President to Mwai Kibaki. He was there yesterday. Thank you very much. I thought of recognizing those leaders. Asante San.